Brooklyn Mack. He is an emerging talent that represents the best and brightest in the world of dance. So much so that he's received a prestigious award and it's taking him to new levels of artistic expression. This is my life. My dream. My passion. When I'm on stage, it's a feeling like no other. As a child, Brooklyn Mack never dreamed of being a ballet dancer. Instead, this South Carolina native had his eyes set on football and basketball. At one point, I wanted to be a lawyer, <laughs> soccer player, basketball player, and I wanted to really pursue was football. But a seventh grade field trip to the ballet changed everything. I saw a gala, and the dancers were amazing. They were from around the world. They were athletically just awesome. So I saw at that point how ballet could help me out with football. So he started tackling ballet classes six days a week. But being 12 years old, he was at a little disadvantage. They had already been dancing for about six to eight years, um, whereas I was just beginning. As he became immersed in intense training, football and basketball took back seat to his new passion. And my friend said to me, you're always going to ballet class. You never play, you never come out and play backyard football no more like you used to. And I realized how many hours I was actually spending doing this. At 15 years old, he took his love for ballet to new heights. Left to Washington, D.C. to go to the Kirov Academy of Ballet, um, which is a ballet boarding school. After graduating from the academy in 2004, Brooklyn was off to Joffrey Ballet of Chicago as an apprentice. And a year later, he made his way to the dance capital, New York City, where he joined the American Ballet Company. His dance career now takes center stage at the Orlando Ballet, where he's made a name for himself in the ballet world. He will uh, you know, elicit all sorts of audience response, including applause when he uh, does uh, something spectacular. I, I like to think that the people are dancing with me when they're watching me, and that's why when I jump, they have an intake of air at the same time I jump, like they're jumping. <sighs> because that's what I feel I'm jump when I'm jumping. And I, I think when the audience makes that sound, I feel that they're there with me and they're jumping with me. His perfection in the air has gained international acclaim with the awarding of the Princess Grace Dance Fellowship, named in honor of Princess Grace of Monaco. I never really dreamed of ever receiving anything like that. Well, the Princess Grace Awards are given to emerging talent. Uh, talent that is recognized as having a lot of potential. It's, it's like, I don't know, like winning a Grammy or something. It's considered to be one of the most prestigious awards for artists in America, an award that grants between $5,000 and $25,000. The purpose? To help aspiring artists like Brooklyn pursue their dreams. This is a great opportunity for Brooklyn. Clearly, he will get a lot of national prominence on his own. With such notoriety, you never know where this 21-year-old will go next. I want to tour the world and be a guest principal with all of the major companies and, um, and just inspire and, uh, I guess, enlighten the world <laughs> through my art. An art that is apparent to anyone who watches. He looks like he defies gravity. It's incredible. He is uh, certainly a very lyrical dancer. He has uh, incredible technique. Ballet for me is, I don't know, everything that's good just rolled up into a few short moments. That's what ballet is. That's just a taste of the Arts Connection. You can catch more great stories like this at the Arts Connection website at wmfe.org slash arts and see new episodes every Thursday night at 8 on WMFE TV. Thanks for watching.